Hi guys, today we're going to make this frozen bracelet. Got this idea from the Rainbow Loom website and uh, it's a fairly easy bracelet to make. Now what I ended up doing, uh, there's two ways you can make it. You can make the hot pink color and then you can make the blue frozen color. And for this, for the pink color, what I did was I got these glitter bands. They're the enchanted glitter bands. I got them at Michael's. And you separate out. I separated out for the hot pink color, um, just the pinks and kind of the light purples. And then I used this uh, hot pink color for the inside to make it kind of glowing. You can see that that's going to be on the inside. And it's going to make it glowing. Then I separated out. I'm going to show you how to make the blue one. I took the glitter bands and separated out kind of all the blue tone colors for that and then for the inside I can use uh, any color blue on this one I'll use this light color blue but you can use also a dark color blue for that and what it's going to be is a single band in the middle and then it's going to be surrounded by these glitter bands on the outside and I'm going to show you how to make it step by step let's get started I'm going to show you how to make it on the rainbow loom Okay, so this is what it looks like when you have your two colors separated. I'm going to push this aside and show you how to start the inside of your frozen. What you want to do, if you have your rainbow loom, you want to pop out the middle section just like that and then have these across from each other. If you have your monster tail, I'm going to show you how to do that next, right here. So on this, we want to make the inner band really, really thick. When you start like this on the bottom, you always cross it like that. Now you want it where the opening is facing out on these, just like that. Now we're going to start two bands. Put it across. And take the bottom, one bottom band, bring it over, same over here, bring it over in the middle, and push it down. Now we're going to do the exact same thing again. Cross it over the top like that with two bands. Grab the bottom two bands, bring it over just like that, push it down. Once again, two bands, cross the top, grab the bottom two bands, bring it over, push it down. I'm going to do it for you a couple more times. You could always press your space bar to stop and restart your video as you go along. Most computers will do that. Bottom two, bring it over, go over here, bring it over. And then you can start pulling it down like that. There you start seeing how your bracelets, the inner bracelet of your frozen bracelet will look like. Two more over. Pull it over like that. Pull it over like that. Pull it down. You want to do this to the length of your wrist. And then I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, now that it is the length that you want it, what you want to do is just take one band. I'm going to show you how to finish it off. Put it across the top, just like that. I always hold it down like this, so make sure your top end doesn't fall off. Take the bottom two, bring it over. The bottom two, bring them over. Pull them down, like that. Now we're going to take this one band over here. Make sure it doesn't fall off and cross it over so you have them both just like that. Now we're going to take a band and finish that off from here. What I do is take this, go down through there, twist it. 
just like that. Take this side, pull it through just like that. Now your band is ready to go and it's the length that you want. Okay guys, now we're going to show you how to finish off this bracelet. What we're going to do, same thing, you're going to have your loom with the center popped out the middle. You're going to use <clears throat> these four bands to create your outer shell for your frozen band. Now, of course we're going to use this blue one on this, but if you wanted to do this with this hot pink, and I'm going to post the kind of the colors below in the description below, but if you wanted to use a hot pink and use this over here for the outer, now we'd use this to create the outer band, you would use the pink glitters for that. But we're going to do the blue, so I'm going to show you how we're going to start this whole thing out. We're going to take one band on the bottom and we're going to cross going up just like that. We're going to go now from here to here, cross just like that. Here to here, cross just like that. From here to here, cross just like that. Okay, now we're going to take another band and do the same thing. We're just going to not cross it. It's a single band. We're going to go straight up. We're going to go from here now out to the right. We're going to go from there down. And now we're going to go from here over to the left. We're going to start hooking now. We're going to take our hook. Go under here, grab the bottom two bands. I would kind of hold it down like this so it doesn't come off. Bring it over the center like that. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Grab the bottom two bands right here. Bring it over the center just like that. I'm going to come over here. Grab the bottom two bands. Bring it over the center, put it in the middle like that. I'm going to do the exact same thing here with the bottom two bands. That's just one, so I'm going to grab the next one. Bring it over, put it in the center, and push it down. I'm going to do the exact same thing right like this. Bring it up. Bring it up. Down. Single bands like that. Okay, same thing again. You're going to take the bottom two, bring them over into the middle. Bottom two, bring them into the middle. Bottom two, middle. Bottom two, in the middle. You always start on the left side, move up, and go clockwise. Okay, so once again, I'm going to take this. Go up, take this, go over, this down, and this across like that. Now after you get it to where it starts getting tighter in the middle, I'm going to show you how to put your other blue bracelet into the middle, just like that. So now that it's starting to get a little tight, what I'm doing now is I'm going to take this, put it right there. I don't want it up too high. And as this gets longer, you just keep pulling this up. You kind of have that string right there. So now we're going to do, make sure this is all pushed down. Put this up like that, across like that, like that. And over like that. I'm going to take the bottom, bring it over, bring it over, bring it over, bring it over. Push it down. While this outside is pushed down, you're just going to pull this up just a little bit. And you're going to keep doing this. See how it's starting to cover the outside and you see the blue through. 
you're going to keep doing this till this gets this entire length of your bracelet. And then I'm going to show you how to finish it off. Okay, now that we have it the length we want it, we've been pulling it through. Sometimes this gets a little longer, and I'm going to show you how to fix that out. It gets a little longer when you stretch it through so much. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to use two C-clips because you got a lot going on here to finish this off. <laughs> I'm going to grab dueling sides on this end put on my C-clip right here. So I grabbed about four bands, slipping in here. So you've got this one side finished off. Now, now that this side has gotten, like I said, stretched through a little bit, a little stretched long, I'm going to show you in a minute how to do that, but first what we want to do is finish this off by taking the bottom single on each side now and bringing it over the top so you just have one left on each of these. that, bring it over, and then this one right here, and this bottom one over. Now our goal is to get all of these singles put onto one peg, so you can finish it off. Now if that goes loose like that just did, oh, I got it on, okay. Take this one right here and pull it over. All right, so now you've got four on there you want to put onto a C-clip. So it, make sure it gets around all four bands or else it'll fall apart on you. take this off just like that so now what you do is you want to get really really clever in finishing this off so you don't end up losing any bands having it fray on you so I'm going to take one of those holes here put it through to through the c-clip it's a little of a challenge. Okay, so I've got two through. Now you don't want to cut right here, you want to cut right above it because if you cut where the C-clips went through on that strand, you're gonna you're gonna break it. So you break those bands. So here we go. Cut those off. Okay, did that wrong. 
actually. I'm going to take that now, that loose one. Flip through on the other side. And now you can tighten it. Now is the chance for you to take this one side where less of the bands are on and hook it through several of the bands over here on this side. Take some doing because you want to make sure nothing really comes loose on the other side with the seat clips. through there. Get as many as you can on here as well. There you go. So there you have your Rainbow Loom adorable frozen bracelets. We'd love you to subscribe. Just click on the top left corner of our screen. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like and comment below. Tell us some things you'd like us to make in the future. Thank you so much for watching.